Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Myself, Nagama, I am the Selection Grade Lecturer in the Department of Biochemistry and I am going to discuss about the types of enzymes. Why there are the different types of enzymes? We should think because the enzymes are catalyzing the different type of reactions. The depending on the reaction which they catalyze and they are named. We are going to see what are the different reactions are they going to catalyze. These types of enzymes, they are mainly just we see the outline what are the different types of the enzymes. They are mainly oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, lyages, isomerases and ligages. If you see the names of the enzymes in that only the what type of the reaction they are catalyzing will come to know. Anyway, we are going to go through detailly that. The oxidoreductases. If you see the oxidoreductases, name itself it is showing the, they are mainly catalyzing the oxidation and reduction reactions. Okay, what is this oxidation and reduction reaction? In these reactions, they are substrates mainly the donating and accepting the electrons. For example, if you see in the pathway of the glycol, the HMP shunt pathway, uh, they are mainly catalyzing the uh, HMP shunt pathway, one reaction we are going to see that is the, the glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate here, it is mainly donating the electrons to the NADP. NADP place. Here, in this reaction, mainly the glucose 6-phosphate by donating the electrons to the NADP plus, it is oxidized to 6-phosphogluconolactone. And by accepting these electrons, NADP plus is reduced to NADPH plus H plus. This reaction is mainly catalyzed by the enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. This glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase here it is mainly catalyzing the oxidation and reduction reaction. Here the glucose 6-phosphate is oxidized to 6-phosphogluconolactone and accepting that electrons NADP plus is reduced to NADPH plus H plus and this the enzyme is the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase because here they are named oxidation in the same reaction if the oxidation and reduction is occurring they are named it as the dehydrogenases. Okay. Next class it is the transferages. What are these transferages? Mainly they are catalyzing the transfer of the functional groups. The any functional group if you take amino group and the phosphoryl group or the any other methyl groups we can take. For, so for example, all we know the first reaction of the glycolysis that is the, the glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate. How it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate? Here the glucose only it is there. What is the main the phosphate donor here to the, the glucose? That is mainly the ATP. The ATP is mainly donating or transferring the one phosphate group to the glucose. Now the glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate and the ATP is converted into ADP. Now, the name of the enzyme here involved or the catalyzing this reaction is the glucokinase. 
and here the magnesium one magnesium is we require as a cofactor okay this is the example for the transferages mainly if you see here we are observing the transfer of the phosphate group if suppose if another reaction amino group transfers also mainly we are observing in the mainly in the metabolic pathways here other example also we are going to see under the transferages that is the mainly alanine amino transferage what the reaction is mainly catalyzed by alanine amino transferage here the mainly amino group is transferred from the one substrate to the other now if we see in this reaction alanine it is transferring the one amino group to the alpha keto glutarate because of the transfer of the amino group and the what are the products mainly formed here is the pyruvate and the glutamate and this reaction is mainly catalyzed by alanine amino transferase okay now we are going to see the third type of the enzymes that is mainly hydrolases in that only meaning is there in the uh, hydrolases means that is hydrolyzing mainly the the cleavage of the bonds it is by addition of the water mainly if we see here here mainly if we see so many enzymes like the polypeptides these polypeptides are hydrolyzed to oligopeptides these reactions mainly we observe in the digestion of our proteins and all that is mainly by the pepsin okay this is the example for the hydrolases and the next class of the enzyme that is the lyases lyases means they are catalyzing the addition or the removal of certain chemical groups without addition of water here means in the previous class uh, or the previous type of the enzyme we have seen that is mainly depending on the water water is mainly hydrolyzing to the uh, uh, polypeptides to oligopeptides but here in the lyases there is no need of addition of the water just the removal of the groups here the removal of the groups mainly the amino groups or any co2 groups are removed for example if you see the mainly in these reactions what will happen in sometimes when we addition of the groups uh, lyases they mainly catalyzes the addition or the removal of the certain chemical groups the without addition of water in the previous uh, reactions hydrolases we have seen there we require the water molecule uh, to break the bonds but here there is no need of water and mainly it is removing the functional uh, groups like nh3 and the co2 here if you see the example for this one in these reactions when we are looking at the examples in these reactions what will happen when you add the functional group in some reactions the breakage of the bonds will occur suppose in the removal of the functional group some in some reactions it may results in the double bond formation now we are going to see uh, see the examples of the the pyruvate on the pyruvate removal of the co2 it mainly res resulting in the acetaldehyde and co2 group is removed here and this reaction is mainly catalyzed by pyruvate decarboxylase
pyruvate decarboxylase in this reaction i have already told you there is no addition of the water molecule and only the sum of the groups are removed here if we see the another example that mainly we see in the glycolysis pathway that is the the fructose 16 bisphosphate sorry 16 bisphosphate it is mainly by the aldolase enzyme it is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyestone phosphate these two reactions are the best examples for the lyases okay next class of the and uh, that mainly types of the enzymes that is the mainly the isomerases what are the isomerases they are mainly catalyzing the interconversion of the isomers now first we see what are these isomers isomers mainly here it's mainly catalyzed by the enzymes mainly the transfer of the functional group or the movement of the functional group one position to the another position on the carbon atoms suppose if you see in the six carbon atoms are the in these carbon atoms suppose the one oh group is present here and the second position suppose in the another molecule what is happening the same hydroxyl group is shifted to on the fourth position now we say this component is the isomer form of the this component suppose this is the component a and this is the component b see suppose if you say hydroxyl group is present at the second carbon of this component and now it is shifted to the r it is moved to the uh, fifth position of carbon of the another component okay this is the isomer form b is the isomer form of the a now we are going to see the example here in this reaction we have seen already this reaction is mainly in the glycolysis here the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is isomerized to dihydroxy acetone phosphate okay here in this reaction the uh, glyceraldehyde this is a reversible reaction glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into dihydroxy acetone phosphate at the same time dihydroxy acetone phosphate can be uh, is the isomeric form of the glyceraldehyde 3 for uh, 3 phosphate this is the interconvertible uh, forms the enzyme here is the triose phosphate isomerase So triose five uh, triose phosphate isomerase is catalyzing the interconversion of the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to dihydroxy acetone phosphate. Now, if we see the another type of the enzymes, these are the last type of the enzyme that are the ligases. What are these ligases? They are mainly formation of the bond. here the ligases they mainly catalyze the formation of the bond between the two molecules 
coupled to the hydrolysis of high energy phosphate. Me means here in this reaction mainly we require to formation of the bond we require the one ATP molecule. Now, if the pyruvate is coupled with the carbon dioxide and it mainly forms the oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate and this reaction is mainly catalyzed by the pyruvate carboxylase enzyme. In this reaction, I have already told you that is the ligages. Ligages means here in this reaction we require the one ATP molecule. In this ATP molecule now it is after that converting into ADP and the inorganic phosphate here and this reaction is mainly catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase and in this reaction we require the biotin as a coenzyme. Okay, this is all the different types of the enzymes. Now, we are going to summarize that in this one mainly we have seen the, the six different types of the enzymes depending on the which type of reaction they are mainly going to catalyze. The first type of the enzyme is mainly oxidoreductases. Oxidoreductases they are mainly catalyzing the oxidation and reduction reaction. We have seen the example of the HMP shunt pathway reaction that is glucose 6-phosphate is oxidized to 6-phosphogluconolactone and NADP plus is reduced to NADPH plus H plus. The next type of the enzyme is the transferases. They are mainly helping in the transfer of the functional groups. We have seen the glycolysis reaction that is the, the glucose to glucose 6 form phosphate. There the ATP is mainly uh, giving the transferring the phosphate group to the glucose. The next one is hydrolases. Hydrolases by addition of the water, they are mainly the polypeptides are converted into oligopeptides. Next is the lyages. In this class, we do not require the any water molecule to break the bonds or the formation of the bonds. Addition of the or the deletion of the functional groups mainly for, uh, there may be a double bond formation or the, or the removal of the double bond formation mainly we have seen. Okay, in the isomerages, the mainly the conversion of the isomeric forms. That mainly we have seen the example of the fructose, uh, sorry, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to dihydroxyestone phosphate. Next one is the ligages. There mainly we require the, to couple the two substrates, mainly we require one ATP molecule. Here though example you have seen the pyruvate to carbon dioxide is coupling. This reaction mainly requires the ATP and it forms the oxaloacetate. And this reaction is mainly catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase and the coenzyme we require here the biotin. 